This technique of manifesting literally was such a game changer for me. I don't even know if somebody talks about it, probably somewhere down the line if I because I feel I've created this technique. However, I'm sure I'm not the only one at all. However, this technique for me was such a game changer and was super fun to use and made me manifest things so rapidly and effortlessly. And in today's video, I just want to share it with you so you can also try it and see for yourself that it works. Hey everyone, my name is Neya for those of you who are new and on this channel we talk about manifestation, law of assumption, witchcraft, esotericism and so much more. And in today's video I want to share with you guys a technique, it is a technique, to manifest that, that for me was a game changer and that I just simply intuitively channeled from source or consciousness probably somebody already talks about this technique however i just want to talk it in my own term because i am very much into effortless manifestation and i do manifest with daydreaming a lot so in today's video i want to share my personal story about a little bit of my personal story or why this technique has worked out for me and why it has made my manifestation so rapid and effortless so let's start with this um i will make a video and post a video very soon about how to affirm in a healthy way or if I didn't already so I will cover the topic of affirmation in a separate video because I still do affirm I just do it in a particular way that I that for me is sustainable but the majority of the time what I do when it comes down to my manifestation I first and foremost do what I make my clients do by the way coaching is down below I basically tell them to create a new identity because your memories and your concept is what creates the pushed out of the mirror and also is what creates the reaction from other people so if of course if you identify with states of I'm ugly I will never have what I want my world hates me the mirror will respond back to you and and it will just say I hate you too that's what essentially is happening. So I make sure all the time that I'm manifesting that I'm stepping into the state of the person that has what I want. So for instance, I wanted to become a full time YouTuber and I wanted to manifest and generate my income from multiple sources just by being myself. And so what I did, I started to create an identity of the person that is Neya, that is a YouTuber, successful one, that has sponsorship, that has other source of income that obviously has her own business but I created and generated things in my mind first where I would identify with states of abundance related to the fact that I'm earning money just by being myself, which obviously includes I can talk in my videos in the way that I want. People do appreciate my content. My content creates values because it comes from my personal experience. I am honest. I'm always genuine in my videos because I used to be afraid that if I am not... Um, like other coaches if i'm not like other people or i speak like other people people will aid on me and i changed that belief system and i said no people appreciated the fact that i'm honest and i'm genuine and i am earning money just by being myself and i don't have to be anyone else apart from me so i generated this new identity and now it become it became such a strong identity in me that i don't even question it anymore and obviously you guys can tell by yourself that i've manifested these things so by doing that this is the first thing that i do in the process of my manifestation whatever manifestation it is then after i have solidly grasped my new identity i keep reminding myself during the day when I see that my thoughts maybe perhaps revert back to fear or to my old self I snap back become aware and I say no no Naya you don't think like that anymore you're the new version of you and the new version of you is a successful youtuber that doesn't have to worry about these things and therefore I push away the old version of myself which slowly during the days obviously fades away until the manifestation hardened into fact then step number two I daydream of course, I daydream about things in first person and I just go on about my day. I listen to music and I, uh, you know, see things. I do it in first person because I'm used to doing it in first person. But if you want to do it in third person, I don't think it makes any difference. But I create slides where I have fun daydreaming and I never, ever, ever 
daydream because I want to manifest. I never, ever, ever daydream because I want to make something happen. Yeah, sure, I do. But I don't do it in that moment because I want to generate something outside of myself. I do it for, as an act of self-love. I do it because I imagine things anyway. And I know that imagination creates. But on top of that, if I have to imagine an outcome of a specific situation and it's only in my mind, why do I have to imagine the worst case scenario and therefore generate feelings that make me feel bad for the entire day? No, I won't do that. I love myself enough to say, you know, screw that. I want to imagine the positive outcome. Now, inside of me, I drop importance. I know that that is a possibility in the universe where what I want and that positive outcome doesn't happen. I know that because I know quantum physics. But however, and I drop importance, I always say, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, I'm good anyway. Sure. However, I know because I know quantum physics that there is indeed the possibility and there is the reality where the positive outcome that I want actually comes about. And so I want to focus on that, period. I don't care if people think I'm delusional. I think people are delusional even when they imagine negative outcomes. It's just that society has trained them that if you imagine negative outcomes, you somehow, some way are more grounded but it's not true. You are the observer. You are the one that collapses reality. So I love myself enough to imagine the positive of life and the positive outcomes. So that's what I do. I essentially daydream because it makes me feel good, not necessarily to manifest. Yes, it is to manifest, but you know, with ease. Then this is where the technique comes about. What I started doing as well, which was mind blowing is scripting, but how? Many people like to script and write down their affirmations or they like to script I am this and that and I don't know, they like to script in a more traditional way. I have created something different because I love having a diary. I always loved having a diary since I was a little kid because I don't know, it's a girly thing. I don't know if it's girly. Maybe I identify it as a girly thing, but I don't know. I just love it. I just love to, to buy, uh, you know, notepads, notebooks that I can write. And when I'm alone, I, I love writing and I love to write like things that happen during the day. And I said to myself, if I love doing this and I love to make self-reflection and write down things and even poets or things like this, uh, poetry, um, what if instead of writing my diary about the 3D, I write the diary of the 4D? I know, right? And I write the diary of today, let's say 1st of August. I, instead of writing the diary at the end of the day, I will write the diary in the morning, writing down how the day went. And I just do it. And I just allow myself to imagine the most positive outcome. And I just, I just go for it. I just allow myself to say, you know what? I'm going to create my day. And then so I write down today was an amazing day because I did this and I did this and I encountered this people and this has happened now. I am doing this with zero resistance and zero importance. Like I said, I do this because it is fun to imagine my day since the morning in the way that I will always want it to. And if the things that I wrote down didn't happen during the day, I don't stress about it because what I affirm in my mind is, you know, time doesn't exist. So I wrote it down. So it, it, it happened. If I wrote it down, it means it happened because this is my diary. I know it, it sounds so delusional, but this is what I do. Um, and then I don't necessarily check if it happened or not. Just the act of writing down how my day went before it even happened makes me feel so good and allows me to daydream while I'm writing. And it is such an amazing, powerful technique. It is essentially scripting, but it's not just scripting your affirmation is more really like you become the storyteller of your life. You are scripting your movie and you are deciding what happens in the movie and you write it down like a diary. And I just did it out of fun. I honestly, I didn't do it because I wanted to manifest those things. I was just, I just wanted to feel good and I just do it to feel good. It's so funny because I looked back at what I wrote down and I forgot about it. I literally forgot because I, I write down the diary every day and I don't check it 
if it happened or not. So I write random stuff in the morning about what I want to happen. And I write it down like it really happened. And sometimes I don't even put the dates. So I just write down, write down, write down, write down. And yesterday I was checking what I wrote down and I was like, wow, it all happened. It all happened as I, how I described it even. It all happened. And I was reading it again and I was like, I cannot believe it, but the dates don't match. Because obviously I wrote this down beforehand and then it happened and a week later, months later, and I'm like, how did I know? How did I know that this was going to happen? I created this just by writing my own script, like I'm writing my own movie. And it is so much fun to go later back down the line and to see all the details. And because when you write a diary, it's not just you're scripting, you're writing down that day felt so good to do this. And I felt so amazing because you write down the feelings, how you felt in those experiences. And I was reading again my diary and I read how I felt. And I remember how I felt because it actually really happened. And, and when I wrote it down, I was like, I can't believe that I wrote down how I was feeling. And I created that feeling in the 3D as well. And those stuff happened mind blowing. So that's the only video that I wanted to do for today. It was a bit about what I do to manifest, but I will make another video where in detail, I will tell you step by step my routine on manifestation and what I do during the day. Perhaps I will take you about with me during the day so you guys can understand how I manifest and it's more of an updated video on my manifestation. But in today's video, yeah, I just wanted to share this game changer, this very easy, simple technique. Start to write and your own story start to be your storyteller and if you do enjoy writing step up your game in the scripting method in the scripting technique and write down a diary in the morning of how your day was and see what happens like I said don't check it don't go back and check it later down the line or later I mean so I was saying you guys before my thing for holding the camera broke but never mind that, so I'm holding the camera by hand, I'm sorry. I don't want you to check it later down the line, like during the night, you go and check the diary again, just write it down, have fun, they dream about it like it already happened and let it go and check it only after it actually got manifested. If you will do this, it will be such a game changer because you will manifest so rapidly and effortlessly. It worked for me and I'm super confident that it will work for you too. Let me know if you already do this, perhaps in the comment section down below. So you know, coachings are down below as well as my e-course on manifesting a specific person and the meditation to the blank state that is joined with the course you find all the link to, links to my courses down below and i see you guys very soon and also on patreon see you next week next week see you very soon bye